This video is inspired by a fantastic suggestion from one of our viewers. He asked me to create some complex structures. So, okay, let's start from the beginning. I was not talking about the beginning of the day. I was talking about the beginning of the video. Okay, 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 sorry. Uh, I'm gonna start with the measurements. So let's start making the blueprint. So my blueprint is ready. But bro, your blueprint is not blue. It's not the point. I made this blueprint because I just wanted the best results. Now let's start the blender. Okay, so first of all, press A, press X and delete everything. Shift A and I'm gonna add a plane. But uh, I don't want this in meters because I'm creating a very small box. So from this scene properties, I'm gonna use units and I'm gonna change the length meters to centimeters okay now it, it was two meters now i change it to centimeters so it is showing me 200 centimeters i'm gonna use 50 centimeters okay press period button uh rotate it on the y-axis 90 degrees press three from the number pad i'm gonna okay we are in object mode press tab now from here i'm gonna activate this like edge length now we can we can see why we are seeing in meters i just have changed it to the centimeters i don't know why it turns back okay 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 doesn't matter press tab grab it on the axis of z and i'm just hold control and now it's it's in the center press control a and we just moved it so click on location we are applying location now 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 when i when we applied the location now our origin of this object is moved here and we want this now press tab this length uh, is 50 centimeter great okay but the height we don't need the 50 centimeters of height we need 13.4 so select this edge first firstly we have to press 2 or click on this button select this edge press g and grab it on the axis of z so press z and we need 13.4 13.4 okay hold shift for the smoother for the smoother word for the smoother movement for the smoother movement okay now we got 13.4 left click press a and now we can see like 13.4 height and 50 centimeters of length now we need uh to extrude this one press e and z and for for this one we need 19.2 centimeters 19.2 centimeters okay extrude it one more time and this time we need the height 0.586 so enter 0.58 and 6 okay what i just okay, okay it's, 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 it was showing in uh, millimeters so i was confused like why it is showing like 5.86 centimeters because i added just 0.586 centimeters so i was confused so press inner no i just want to scale it down a bit not 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 too much just a bit just a bit okay extrude it one more time on the z-axis this time we need 2.46 centimeters 2.46 okay press enter scale it a bit down okay it's it's fine it's great now we need a bit here press e to extrude on the y-axis and we need 18 centimeters and one more time two centimeters and for this one extrude on the z-axis we need 11 no 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 i was not talking about that enter the number 11.4 scale it down you can create uh, around 13 14 centimeters like like this length I, i'm talking about this length okay we we need this one here also but we are not gonna create it because we are lazy Control r, r and add a loop cut here to cancel the movement right click and i'm gonna select these edges press x and click on vertices why we deleted click on this modifier properties yes modifier properties add modifier 
we need mirror modifier not not on this area on the z axis oh no no sorry 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 <laughs> on the y axis we are in edit mode so press tab for the object object mode when your mouse is here press ctrl a and we just applied the mirror modifier tab again and we don't need this line i mean this loop cut select this while holding alt and click on click left click click left click <laughs> i don't know what happened to me today <laughs> okay now press x and dissolve edges now the edges are gone okay 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 we need to extrude some some more some more some more press e y and 49.9 why why we created 49.9 because because the blueprint <laughs> i'll explain it later okay okay instead of 50 centimeters why we created 49.9 I'll, I'll i'll explain it later extrude one more time two centimeters on the y-axis and press one or just click on this button and select this vortex and grab it down great 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 we just have created okay now we need some bones because we have to control this box so press tab and i need new collection for for the bones you can also rename it as armature now shift it and where are the single bone okay it's a long 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 bone scale it down i am in the wireframe mode hold z and click and just click on this wireframe mode scale it down scale it down now click on this button and click on edge nothing else tab and this one is selected this if it is not selected just click on this one okay now it's selected grab it z and hold control and now it's sticked to to this edge great left click one more time not just one more time we need some extra bones uh, just put it on uh, on the upper edge not on the lower edge okay extrude it hold control left click okay very good click on this one extrude it on the y-axis i need it uh, 20 centimeters long 20 centimeters long okay but we need it here okay i need it we need it here so click on this whole bone press alt and p we, we don't have to clear the parent just disconnect the bone okay just disconnect the bone press g and y and move it here you can also uh, enter 25 grab it on the on the, on the z axis a bit down and if you don't have to if you don't know if you don't know it's it's 25 centimeters so just press g on the y axis i mean press y and and just drop it here and grab one more time on the y axis and uh, on this edge hold alt sorry hold control and press left click press left click okay press left click <laughs> grab it on the z axis now click on this ball extrude it and we need it 11.4 centimeters press y 11.4 okay now now click on this button because we need it here no this is not a button <laughs> this is a bone click on this bone press alt p do not clear the parent disconnect the bone grab it on the axis of z and uh, on this edge hold control and left click we need to rotate it okay this is rotating like this so click i'm so sorry today i'm very confused in click and press oh so we don't have to click nor press we just have to hold period button okay just hold it okay now i need individual origins now we can rotate it like this okay hooray <laughs> we need it 90 degrees but we need it in a negative direction so uh, if you are ever confused in negative and positive then just put the number like like we need the 90 degrees enter 90 and if it's if it moves in the negative directions just press minus sorry press minus okay press minus yeah yeah yeah, yeah, uh, yeah it was right press minus <laughs> okay now no press inner button grab it on the y axis here okay great you can put anywhere like uh, press G Y. You can put here. You can you can also put here. Uh, doesn't matter. We we need these two bones also 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 in this area. We are not gonna create one more time. So Shift D and right click. We have to rotate it, but we cannot rotate it like this. Like uh, let me show you. Rotate it on the Z axis. It is rotating like this. No, we don't need this. Hold the period button and 3D cursor. Why why I choose 3D cursor? Because the 3D cursor is in the center and when we rotate it, this is gonna rotate like this. Great. 
so uh, we need 180 degrees okay so just put 180 and enter uh, we need two more bones click on this extrude it on the y-axis you can also uh, go here and control and left click and we, and if we know that this is 49.9 centimeters long then we can also uh, input 49.9 centimeters okay so it's like exactly uh, on this edge one more time on the y-axis you can also put two and you can also hold control and left click now we have created all the bones that we needed yes okay now what, what we have to do here before the animation part we have to assign these bones to this box and also we have to make the bones as a parent to the box press tab for that thing z and go to the solid mode again select select the box and also select the bone and press ctrl p click on with empty groups now when when we move the bones the box will also move but but there's there's also some extra things that we have to do okay select the box press tab we need the we need the face selection mode on if the object data properties already not open then click on the object data properties and from the from the vertex groups uh, we need to, to select the bones one by one like we just have selected wait a minute i mean <laughs> wait a minute uh press tab like the the armature from the object uh, object data properties <laughs> click on this before display and enable the names now select select the box press tab and as as we can see the bone where where, where the bone where the first bone b o n e this one is the bone so select this face and assign it to this bone click on assign now bone point table one where are you o o one this bone the name of this bone is point o o one now select this face and also this face we, we need these two faces controlled by this bone so bone double oh one bone point double oh one any, anything what you call just click on assign okay next one is bone o o two where are you there there it is assign it bone 003 where are you where are you there it is select this one and also this one both is gonna control by controlled by this 003 assign it where are you 004 there it is assign it 007 oh, oh. 007 okay just 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 this face assign it 008 assign it 005 where are you 005 this one and also this face assign it to the 005 006 okay i think this one is the last one okay last this one is the last now tab out uh, and select the bones and now we are gonna we are gonna animate this box we are gonna close this box are you ready yes of course you're ready now the bones are selected press ctrl tab and we are in pose mode you can also select from here okay object mode edit mode pose mode press a to select all the bones press i and click on rotation and from the 30 30th frame i'm gonna rotate all these all these things all these bones let me check the pivot point the pivot point is on 3d cursor but we know we don't need it on 3d cursor why why we don't need because when we rotate on the x-axis this z axis okay see what is happening hold the period button and change the pivot point we don't need 3d cursor we need median point now rotate it on the rotate it why why you are not, not rotating uh, why why it's not rotating bro i don't know nothing is rotating let me change it eight minute i mean wait a minute only location this pro it was turned on why why it was turned on just medium it was accidentally i i, I think accidentally I, I i turned this on just turn this off select the median point it will also works on individual origins but we're gonna go with median point okay now we can rotate it on the z axis great 90 degrees we need it 90 degrees okay press i click on rotation we are on 30th frame okay click on this one rotate it on the z-axis 90 degrees but on the negative direction so like press minus enter press i click on rotation 
select this one rotate it on the z-axis 90 degrees in the negative direction so press minus okay great oh where are you the smallest one <laughs> how can i click on that one uh, to fix that one we have the smaller smallest bones and we also have these types of bigger bones uh from from this object data properties we put display display as stick we can see this is smallest bone if you have small bones like this just click on this stick one select this one rotate it on the z axis 90 degrees okay 90 degrees minus okay we have also these ones rotate it on the which axis x axis this time i'm not gonna rotate it on uh, like 90 degrees i'm gonna rotate it 95 degrees i click on rotation same for this one rotate on the y axis no no sorry 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 x axis 95 degrees minus 95 degrees okay for this one i'm not gonna use this 30th frame i'm gonna use 35th frame where are you okay what what just happened here mm -mm, this is not good i i just forget to add the keyframe let's do it once again 90 degrees press i just don't forget to insert the keyframe click on rotation same for this one rotate on the z axis 90 degrees oh, sorry 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 rotate on the z axis minus 90 degrees i and click on rotation don't forget this one on the 35th frame i'm gonna rotate this one rotate on the sorry 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 sorry, sorry y axis okay 90 degrees no 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 89 degrees 89 degrees i click on rotation for this one rotate on the y axis it, it should be like 93 93 degrees okay i click on rotation w what happened to you bro okay how much do i forget everything i think i'm getting older go to the 30 30th frame rotate it on the axis of x and 95 degrees minus 95 degrees is everything fine yes everything is fine great i press i don't forget this one as as i do all the time <laughs> rotation okay let me let me see whenever you have to see your animation just click on this button to do not show the overlays no just your box and you are here i mean not on the screen you are not on the screen <laughs> press space okay it's great it's great it's great everything is working perfectly okay now what, what we have to do we have to do just turn or turn it on first it is ending on 35 so for for the end frame i'm gonna use 40 40 40 would be fine oh press ctrl tab once again or click on this one and click on the object mode select the box and what, what we need we need solid solidify modifier as 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 we created the blueprint the the thickness this thickness would be 0.1 centimeters it should be complex one i think yes offset offset we need positive offset plus one merge threshold 0.01 everything is fine okay great we need one more thing add modifier we need we need the mirror modifier on the downside now the box was half now the box is complete i mean completed okay the box is completed press space Oh, great everything is working there's one more thing that i want to explain to you like click on this button no you don't have to click on this button <laughs> my pencil is broken no 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 click on this show list button this is like 49.9 centimeters and this is 50 centimeters my writing my writing it's like it's, it's too bad so because of this face because of this face why 
when when it closes when it closes like this is it's basically we have we have added uh 0.1 centimeters of thickness so press three uh, it's 49.9 but 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 the rotated but the rotated face is 0.1 centimeters thick because because of the solid solidify modifiers so it's basically becomes 50 centimeters so that's why i i did this okay so i've used the same material and the same lighting that i've used in this video you can also use that one and also you can create your own okay 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 now it's time to go thanks for coming bye